Hi guys, last summer I went to Nepal and apart from doing my own silly things and meeting my friends and relatives, I went on to do a work experience at Monowan Hospital and because it was a very helpful experience, I thought I'll share this with you guys. So if you're looking forward to do a voluntary work, community services or work experience in that world country like Nepal, then it's a good start. I know there are organizations like Project Abroad who do their own programs, but if you're like me who prefers to do it independently to save some pennies, then this video is for you. So this is the hospital that I had my work experience. So this was named after the great leader Manmohan Hospital. You can see he's in the picture there. This hospital serves around 80,000 people, so you're bound to see different cases and different situations than you see here in Europe. So this is the reception, and that's the chart that shows the donations. These are the nurses, the really friendly people. Um, this is the pharmacy where the drugs are being distributed. They also have a pathology department and gynecology, also maternity area. Health services, 24 hour emergency services. Operation printer at the moment, so it's still under process. They have 24 hour ambulance service too. Now, this is the place where they hold their meetings with nurses and doctors and so on. They provide about 15 beds, however, you can see they are quite vacant, and this was because we went there in rainy season, which is off season, where all the villagers are busy in their fields. So they wouldn't come to the hospital even if they're sick, which is sad. But because we were more interested in the dental and the opticians, it wasn't a problem for us. This was, this is my friend and the dentist there. The dental clinic is open twice or thrice a week. Again, because the people do not normally come for the routine checkup, they come when they have serious problems. So you do see quite major problems that you don't see here. So it's good. Now this is the opticians. It's open once a week. And the optometrist I had worked with was a really nice guy. He offered me to come and join in the camps in rural areas. And the checkups he does for school students. He suggested me some books. This is the doctor, uh, he works there full time, again another nice chap, he is the IT guy who deals with the email, if, you send, if you're interested, you, he's the guy who will be responding back to you. This is the canteen, it's really nice that they have a small canteen there, they provide decent food for a reasonable price, and two great people I met, um, they also have like a parking area where you can put your bikes if you have one. Hmm. Again, you might be worrying whether you'll be charged for this or not. We were in charge, but we donated them 4,000 rupees as a amount of appreciation. So it's all up to you. This is the contact details if you want to contact them. Now moving on from the, from the hospital, this is my village Gorka. And the reason I'm taking you guys to Gorka is there is a great place out there where you can do a community service in. Basically, there's a school there, to keep it simple. I really wanted to do this last year, but I couldn't because the transfer and the roads uh, went pretty shit because of the rain. So there's a school out there. Uh, this place is basically one day bus travel from Kathmandu. So it's not that bad. Uh, this school has been extended to a college now so that's the good news 
Now the students do not have to travel all the way to Kathmandu if they want to further their own education. But that's the name of the school, Jana Jyoti Higher Secondary School. Now this is the outer view of the school, this is how it looks like. Uh, and what I was hoping to do there was to teach them English, maths, or do like a revision session, like you know how it's pretty different how we revise here compared to Nepal. Um, so I was thinking of doing that or do like an art session or maybe we could paint the walls together. Do you have an insight of how the school runs in rural areas like Gorkha? So this is the um, classroom there. But this is not posh as it's here. But that's the whole point, you just want to experience new thing. These pictures were taken by my uncle. Uh, we used to be a teacher there, but he's not there anymore. But come on, we guys can do it uh, together. Um, so if you guys are interested to do or to get involved, then just comment below or inbox me and I will get back to you. That's it really guys, uh, that's the cucumber from my field, from my village. <laughs>